I don't need, I have 18,000 pets. So. <laughs> 18 no. bucks a mile frog friend salad at home. Did, did you say frog salad? It seems like a wild, wild animal. Of that. Maybe we should approach it slowly and see if we can make friends with it. Uh, I, I watch you on YouTube a lot. What's up, bud? I want some, uh, these shoes are actually pretty tasty. Those people bought all kinds of stuff. They have many bags. Uh, me more or Dave more? You more. Of course. <laughs> hey, Dave! Are you going to buy that snake? Oh my gosh. It's not bad, boy. Yeah. Logo here in the background while we finish. Come on through, guys. Come on through. Yeah, the logo just to work. Aloha, top of Morning Friends and Family. We are here at the All-American Reptile and Plant Expo, the first one happening in Charlotte, North Carolina. And today we're gonna walk around the show and we're gonna see what people have bought at the show. Let's go. Good? Whoa. Hey, guys, before we get going on this video, I want to mention um, something. You know, I'm kind of taken aback that by the fact that we were just up there filming in North Carolina and everything was fine and, and now it's a mess out in Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee, South Carolina, Florida. That whole Hurricane Helene has just really done a number on folks out there. And so I wanted to let you know that there is a group on Facebook that Bob Vu has started up. It was a group that was used to help out when the big freeze happened in Texas to get relief fund going. That same group is opening back up. I'll put the link in the description. There's going to be a bunch of auctions, lots of different stuff. I'm actually going to put up this um, Enchi Sunset female right here. Um, Morph Market is going to be hosting the animal auctions, and then there'll be uh, uh, other stuff on the... Wow, she is just fired up. And she's also deep in shed, so she doesn't look nearly as good right now as she usually does. And she might even be cinnamon, too. I think she's actually Enchi Cinnamon Sunset, but definitely Enchi Sunset. And she's going to be going up, like I said. Um, Redline Shipping has offered to cover the shipping costs for all of the auction wins to uh, help support folks down there and get that fund going and just make it easier for folks to donate and not have to pay for that shipping. So... All that's happening. Our, our thoughts and prayers are with you guys down in North Carolina and um, and all over the southeast there. And just uh, hope that uh, relief, this relief fund will will help. So, again, check out the link in the description. And um, if you're able to donate stuff, then that would be great. We'll get this fund going and really help out some folks that need it down there. Uh, thank you. Here's back to the video. Would you like to say hello to my friend? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Different. All right, we gotta find. Oh, let's let's check out this gentleman in the purple suit right here, sir. Sir, to right, what right. do we owe such a finely dressed specimen as yourself to be at this show? Okay, well, since Troy is putting on the show and he has to wear his uniform, he couldn't be best dressed for this one. So I decided to take up the title and steal his brand and steal his gimmick. So now we are better dressed balls. Better dressed balls. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So how's the show going for you guys? The show is off to a great start, I would say, and uh, it's only going to get better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. So it was like, what is it, like 1, 2 o'clock right now? But we've already sold five animals, so I'm like, oh, yeah, if that keeps up, I'm all down for that. That's awesome. Wow, and he's not the only ball python vendor at the show, believe it or not, and yet he's selling animals, so good job. I love it. I love it. Thing. All right, I'm going to keep going. Hi, right, Steven. Have fun. I'd love to find, like, a blend of, like, animals and uh, plants because it's obviously a plant show too, but we'll see what that goes. Hey, how you guys doing? Would you be okay if uh, we talked about the stuff you got at the show for like 90 seconds? Sure. All right, what, what did you pick up here? Um, honestly, I don't know what kind of plant it is. I just got it because it looked nice. Hey, that's the Same honesty. Thing with this one. <laughs> Same thing with this one. So two plants that you got because they look nice. Uh, what are the plans for these plants? What? <laughs> uh, what? What are the plans for these plants? What plans uh, they, do you have for the plants? They're just going, yeah, they're just going to my living room. Like, if I have I have a whole, like, jungle in my living room, so I don't have no space right now, but when I get home, I'm going to make space. Uh, how much did you pay for these plants? Um, this one, I think, was, I think the price is on there, 60-something, and I think this one was, like, 50. Not the cheapest thing in the world, but... Not, no, not by any means far. Like, plants are so expensive, you would not believe it. <laughs> awesome. I'm sick of it. <laughs> Can I get a little B-roll of those real quick? It looks like some kind of uh, variegated something or other thank you guys so much appreciate no you have a great day hey, we got our first victims i mean uh guests the show is hot people are fanning themselves off camera you, like, you mind if i get a picture with you sure. all right cool thanks here we go let's get a picture right here you and dave are the reasons i came up here say today. that again you and dave are the reasons i came up here today uh me more or dave more you more of course <laughs> hey dave <laughs> guess what he came here to see me more than you <laughs> but you came to see brian more I, no, um, are you going to watch this video? I've got an important question for you. Are you going to buy that snake? 
Oh my gosh, I am not going to buy this snake, but I'm petting the snake. Oh my gosh, Gwendolyn. Oh, so you know her name already? You're not gonna buy her? No, we're we're just friends. She has babies. I think she's she's. I don't think she's for sale. Are you not selling that snake? Yeah, no, she is not for sale. She is one of our. Really Fair enough. Through. One of our breeders. All right, let's see if we got find somebody that, that not isn't even in the process of buying something, but it actually did buy something. Let's see. I find that often at these shows, I like to walk around and try and find somebody. But more often than not, it's better if I just stand in one spot and then people will walk by with stuff. And yet, I will move. While we're looking for next person, I guess it'd be a good time to mention that apparently about this many of you are not subscribed and yet watch these videos. So if that's you, I would appreciate if you did hit the subscribe button because it really helps out the channel. And if you're watching this content and you like it anyway, why not subscribe so you can see more of it? Because there will be more of it every single week. Seems like a win-win for everybody, right? It's free. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's 100 percent free. Did you did you get that here at the show? Did you get that um, at the show? No, it's Claudio. Oh, you're just borrowing it to walk around with? <laughs> Dang it. We're trying to find people who bought stuff. All right, we got more plants. It is a reptile and plant expo, so let's see. Hey, um, how much did you get this for? This was uh, 60 $60. Uh, what is it exactly? It's a uh, Saracenia, uh, what they really call pitcher plants. What, what are your plans for this pitcher plant? Uh, I'm just going to put it outside. Hope it looks nice. Put it outside, maybe catch some bugs that would be otherwise biting you or something? Yeah, sure. Okay. Awesome, cool. Pitcher plant. Pitcher plant, it's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful time, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful world. Thank you, yeah, appreciate you. We got two plants, we need animals. Steven said that he's sold five animals today already, so some people are buying animals, we just gotta find them. Oh, that is sweet. Did you just pick that up? Just got them. Can we talk about it? Sure. <laughs> what, what did you pick up there? A green iguana. Green iguana, all yeah. right. I was uh, standing over looking at it with a red and a blue. And he like jumped to the top and it was just sticking on the top and I'm like, he wants some attention, he can come on with me. So, yeah, this will be my uh, fourth iguana. Yeah, I've had them. Fourth iguana? Yeah, yep. Not currently, but I've had them in the past when I was young, when I was younger. And uh, so hopefully we had this one for a long time. Um, how much did you pay for that iguana? Uh, $40. $40 is not bad. And what are your, what are your plans for him? Like, I mean, he's gonna be a pet? Or like, what? Yeah, yeah, pet. Yep, um, like I said, I'm very familiar with him. So just try to, Keep it in good health and long life. Awesome. Thank you, my friend. Thank Appreciate you. you. So we got two plants, one animal. Let's see what else we can find. Once again, it's our beautiful and talented cameraman, Shane, doing a way better job than Dave Kaufman already. So thank you, Shane. Yes, sir. What, what can people follow uh, What stuff that you do? I don't have anything. Shane doesn't have any. Well, you have my camera. Yeah, I do have. I, I, I got Brian's camera. That's all I got. He also let me borrow his guitar for a worship service on Sunday, so Shane, Shane is a heck of a guy. Appreciate it. Check out that. Just focus on that bug right there. Zoom in and check it out. Look at that praying mat. That is a beautiful animal right there. Look at how cool that is. Look at how chill it is. Just sitting there, hanging out in her hand, having a great day, looking at you. I feel like mantids are possibly one of the more intelligent insects on the planet. They just seem so aware of their surroundings and... They're really cool. It's always cool to have an interaction with one. One comes across to you in the wild and it just lands on you. It's like, it, make, it really makes your day. I mean, I would think if, it, if you're anything like me and you get to interact with a mantis at any point in your life, it's just, it's just a wonderful thing. Are you, going to, are you going to purchase this animal? No. No, I'm not. I just think she's amazing. She is truly amazing. She's so pretty. I don't prefer Oh, look at her. Hi. And oh, She's so pretty. Wow. I, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know how you're able to hold her and then not take her home. I know. I don't I have 18,000 pets. <laughs> 18,000? <000. laughs> so we got to almost purchase. I think, I think that maybe I got her a little closer than even if she planned not to buy it, but now she's holding it still. Maybe she will buy it. Let's check in. Are you guys available to speak about your frogs there? Sure. Sure. So did you guys pick up these frogs just now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I did. Cool frog. You want to see him? We would love to see him. Uh, so what uh, What are your plans for these frogs? So I have another frog at home, and this is going to be a frog buddy. Oh, frog buddy. I'm here um, adding two frogs to my frog friend salad at home. So he's going to have uh, two extra friends. Did, did you say frog salad? His name's Salad. His name is Salad, yeah. So um, don't, don't have a name for these yet. Probably fork and something else. Haven't figured that out yet. So... 
Uh, let's see. Uh, crouton? Crouton? That could be a good one. Maybe, yeah. It doesn't have a crouton look to it, really. But, yeah, I mean, it's something, just an idea. Something to do with a salad. Greenery, you know, because I have, I have a cheese at home, and then I have a chopstick, so. How much did you guys uh, pay for these frogs? Too much. Too much? No, they're 75. Uh, no, 75. Terrible. Yeah, it's bad. It's a good deal. I appreciate it. Buy two, get one free, so can't beat that. Buy two, get one yeah, free. taking the free one. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Thank you. you. Thanks for taking the time. You too. Excuse me, my friend. Would you mind doing a short interview about the stuff that you bought at the show today? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. Awesome. What, what did you pick up here today? Uh, I got a California King. Oh, you got a California oh, King yeah. snake? She took it home. I ain't got it with me right now. Okay, so you don't have the snake with you right now, but what else did you get? I bought some uh, a heating lamp, rock, a light, and this stuff right here. They told me lasts about a year. Hopefully it does. It could you? I mean, you could definitely leave it in the enclosure for a whole year, and it would be there. It wouldn't disintegrate. But. <laughs> no, hopefully not. They said it's good for the snake too. So, yeah, I use cocoa chip for snakes and my snakes at home too. Um, but uh, what did you pay for all this stuff and the snake? Uh, total about 180. 180. That's not a bad deal, man. That's cool. Not. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. All right, take care. Thank you. What is that creature over there? That seems like a wild, wild animal of. Uh, some kind. I, maybe we should approach it slowly and see if we can make friends with it. I, let me see here. I don't know. Look at that. That's just... I've never seen quite this type of, like, scalation or hair, whatever you want to call it. Scales, hair. It's all made of the same stuff. At least on the outside. Let's see, if we, let's see what he's saying. The exciting bird picture. Oh, my goodness. What, oh, it's, is it fixed? Are we, are we positive that this is going to be really good audio this time? <laughs> um, he's got headphones on. Oh, he got. Oh, we're. Oh, sh look at you, Dave. Dave, where was your headphones? Would you mind talking about your plant for a minute on, this is on a interview? Oh, here, go. We're over here. Right. Oh, I am. Yeah. Hi, this is called a bromulad. How are you guys doing it? I have two crested geckos. This is going to go in their enclosure. It's very beautiful. I got it. Just a couple boosts over, and it was about thirty bucks. Wow, how did you know how to answer all my questions before I asked them? Um, because I did my research and I Googled. <laughs> I want to make sure that the plants that are going in my crested gecko enclosure are non-toxic and not going to hurt them. So, yeah, bromulids are safe for crested geckos, among other reptiles. <laughs> it's nice work. Can I grab a little? Oh, go ahead. That's it. And they have flowers and they're beautiful. That's it. <laughs> they are. And they do look very well in crested geckos enclosure. That's kind of the perfect plant for a crested gecko enclosure. <laughs> yeah. good, good job. We get a little B-roll of that real quick. Oh, you guys didn't hear that because she wasn't talking to Mike, but she was apparently one of the stunt and had speaking roles. In Marvel movies, in Hawkeye, she was like one of the uh, archery instructors, and Hawkeye had a speaking role. That's why she was so good on camera. This, this, in my opinion, is one of the coolest things that's at the show. I showed it in the vlog video, but this hippopotamus skull is just absolutely incredible. Um, I, it's mind blowing, really. It's Patrick here. Let's go, guys. Patrick, can you tell us a story about this um, about this thing real quick? So uh, this hippopotamus was. Um Originally hunted in Africa in, I believe, 1962 uh, by a dude from Minnesota. Uh, he brought it back and lived for the next 50-something um, years or so in that dude's trophy basement in Minneapolis. That gentleman, unfortunately, passed away. His grandkids were not into the taxidermy and weird oddity skull stuff, but they did happen to be friends with my dad's college roommate's kids who were like, yo, I know the perfect weirdo for you and your hippo skull. So they called me up. I drove from Chicago to Minneapolis that day, and he's been with me ever since. It's such a good story. It's so well spoken too. Thank you. I'm hoping that if you, as you're watching this video, we've maybe had the chance to go and check out Patrick's place and do a little tour of his facility. We'll see if that has happened. If you're watching this now, you know that it happened or not. But absolutely, yeah. all the dead stuff is ethically sourced. We didn't we didn't hunt, harm, maim, kill, or cause discomfort to any of these creatures for the sake of uh, the weirdness collection. Good thing to diff good thing to mention. I don't know the right word for that. Um, did you see something for sale? Did somebody buy something? I don't know. Oh yes. Is that? Oh, you look like you're just kind of walking around. You didn't buy that, did you? No, this one's mine. That that one's yours. Are you? Yep. So are you? What is what is your purpose of walking around with it right now? Uh, we're just taking a little adventure, a little jaunt. Uh, I take these guys to schools and events for uh, educational purposes. Awesome. How many um, how many of those shows do you do? Like say a month or a year? Um, in a year, probably like 50. That's, that's, that's almost one a week. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah. 
That, that's awesome. What, what's up with this uh, girl or guy right here? So this is Enchilada, and he is a male yellow belly uh, Enchi gravel pied. Pied? Python. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pet pied. Pet pied. Okay, I was like, oh, yeah. no. what? <laughs> Yep. Um, awesome. And his birthday's tomorrow, actually. It's almost his birthday. He'll be two. Oh, happy birthday, Enchilada. Well, didn't, didn't buy it, but you know what? It's still an animal somebody's carrying around the show, so it passes my test. I don't know if we just stand right here and wait for... That guy's got something interesting on his shoulder, and I was about to give chase, and I got really tired. <laughs> like, I feel like this, this is maybe a zone where somebody's gonna come walking by with the most interesting purchase of the show. So I think we're just gonna kinda of hang out here. I see a girl with a big Tupperware. It could be, could be some. Oh, there we go. How would you guys feel about talking to my dinosaur about your animal there for a moment? That sound, that sound okay? You down to talk about to my dinosaur? What did you get here at the show today? We got a gecko. What kind of gecko? We got a crested one. Crested gecko. Crested gecko, what, what is your plan for this little crested gecko? We really want to feed it, and I really want to hold it. And Mule's carrying the package that has all its food and what it needs to protect itself. That's awesome. So I see. That, how much did you pay for all of this? Do you know? The gecko. The gecko is a hundred dollars, and I don't know what. How much is that? Hundred and fifty something. Hundred and fifty something. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Have a great home. Uh, that may have very well just been the best little interaction of who got what animal to show. Happened right here, literally seconds after we hoped for it. That was awesome. Let's see, what do you what do you think, Shane? I, I love your input. Do you think we, we, there's, should we look for more? Uh, did we get enough? If you were the person watching this video, would you be like, that was perfect. Like, I didn't need to see another animal that was got or another plant that was got. Oh, you know what, this guy in his court. This guy in his court right now. Hi. I, I watch you on YouTube a lot. Oh, sweet. Now you're on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Now you can watch yourself on YouTube. <laughs> that, that'd be cool. I, I'm glad you got... What did, what did you guys uh, pick up here today? Uh, I got some roaches and, roaches. and some um, silkworms for my bearded dragon spike. Roaches and silkworms for your bearded dragon spike. And uh, what did you got here? Big piece of cork wood for the bearded dragon as well. So everything here is for your bearded dragon at home? Yes, yeah. it is. Awesome. Um, I like the mic. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fill up a big enclosure. We just got a 120, so yeah. looking for stuff to put in it. Gotcha, gotcha. Cork wire. Looks like you've succeeded. How, how much total do you think you paid for all this stuff? Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, probably about 120 bucks so far. Yeah. About 120? Okay, it's not too bad. Oh, you did great. <laughs> you did great. You did fantastic. I could, I could tell you were like a hair nervous, but like barely. So. What's up, bud? I want some, uh, these shoes are actually pretty tasty. <laughs> he might take a bite. Who knows? Yeah. Might get lucky. Go find your food, dude. <laughs> Man, there's something, something over here. He's, he's looking for it. Yeah, he's oh, he's yeah, he's on it. He's definitely on it. How old is he? Like a couple years or two years? Two years. Yeah. How much bigger do you expect him to get? Like another, like double that size? Uh, or? Seven to eight foot. Yeah. Uh, Dad was eight and a half feet. Okay. And that's pretty big for a white throat. Normally, it's not that big. Um, the black throats are obviously going to be your your monsters, right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> and by, by monster, he just means large. Those people bought all kinds of stuff. They have many bags. They're running away through the crowd. I'll never catch them. I feel like this is a nice, calm, peaceful place to end the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video, of checking out what people bought here at the show and how much they paid for it and what their plans are for their stuff. We'll be bringing you more of these videos for as long as you can stand it and as long as we can stand it. So if you want more of these, please leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite thing is that somebody picked up at the show, what it would be that you would be looking for if you were here at this show, picking up plants or animals. And uh, enjoy this waterfall with me. We're having a good time. It's nice and relaxing. It's a great place to just say aloha, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. You're a scholar and a gentleman. Once again.